What's up guys? Um, I'm back with another video. So is Bailey here? So today I'm gonna do my first uh, Q&A. Um, we just hit one uh, 1,000 subscribers on uh, both my Instagram and uh, my YouTube, so that's pretty cool. Um, I just did my giveaway, which is pretty cool, and uh, there might be a little secret, I don't know, in this video giveaway thing. I don't know, you just kind of have to watch for it. Um, oh, but, um, let's see. So this video is just going to be a uh, Q&A, my first Q&A. Okay, I don't want to be bit by you. Bye-bye. Around, like, 50 questions. I'm not going to answer all of them because some of them are just kind of stupid and repetitive. Not not stupid, I'm just saying, like, funny, like, stuff I can't answer. Um, so let's just go right into it. Let's start at the very bottom. Is how long ago did you start writing? I started writing, um, February of 2017, so it'll be two years. Yeah, so it'll be two years, like, next month. Well, I'll just kind of say this. I've been writing since I was, like, three years old. Like, like first, like, when I could, like, step on a scooter. My dad would take me, like, on my little Razor scooters to, like, skate parks, like, all around Las Vegas, um, because that's where I was born, and, um, he'd take me to skate parks, like, all around Vegas. It was super fun. I don't remember all, any of it. But, um, so I kind of started writing then, but I obviously didn't do anything. But, um... I started writing about two years ago, and then that's like when I learned my first help and actually started writing. Why street writing? Honestly, um, September of 2016, um, is when I went to the Shop Pro Scooter Lab, and then I like went in there with like not knowing anything. It was the uh, closest shop to me. It was like two hours away, and they hooked me up with uh, Affinity T bars and uh, AO Quadrum. It was the first deck, the AO Quadrum one, and uh. They hooked me up with that, and so that was like really big and like more street, so... And I had like kind of back problems, so I needed like taller bars, so I just kind of went with street, street and just kind of what happened, I guess. What is my favorite trick? Um, I like doing 720s. I'm also going to try to keep this like one clip, so like less editing, because I'm trying to post this today. Because I'm filming this the day I'm posting it. Um, my favorite trick is... Probably 720 is the best feeling trick. It's just so satisfying when you land. I'd probably just say 720. If you can, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, I really want to go to Machu Picchu. Um, that looks really amazing. Like it looks so cool. Like if you look at pictures on the internet, it's just it looks so amazing and beautiful. And in September 2016, actually, I forgot to say. It's kind of when I got my first parts. Didn't really ride it too much. Probably rode like the skate park like three or four times from September to like February. Then February was like, okay, this is really fun. I'm gonna start doing this more. Dream sponsor? I don't really have a dream sponsor. I'm not like trying to get sponsored anything right now because it's probably not gonna happen. But I wanna. I really like tilt. I'm really liking tilt. It either be tilt or proto because those are like two like about the same companies but I kind of like tilt more because I love like most of like all the products and just the, the people that like just like the people my favorite skate park would probably be Linda Vista that is the best skate park I've ever ridden are you going to SC 13 I'm not sure when that is but I really want to go I've I have never been before so I want to try to go this year thoughts on the tilt deck I really want that for my next deck like that it looks amazing I really want it the dimensions are pretty good and I heard it's not too heavy either um I'm not really a weight weenie it's just uh I'd rather a lighter deck you know what I mean he says where uh where were you born haha <laughs> creepy um I was born in Las Vegas uh, Nevada do you think the scooter industry is doing right and wrong oh that's a hard one um it's hard to find things that are like like good about it it's just obviously easier to find things that are bad about it because that's what everybody thinks of if you know what I mean I'd, I'd enter what is it doing wrong there needs to be more competitions no one's doing any more competitions like they do like the main ones like ISA and then SD 13 and all that but there's not just too many just kind of random comps you know what I mean like Escondido does some every once in a while but there's really not that many my favorite deck probably this Ethic Lindworm V3 the one that I have right now What's one of your dream sponsors? Can I already answer that? And then, dream tricks in scootering. Um, obviously, like, I want to learn, like, front flips and back flips. I want to try to learn front flips before, uh, back flips. I'm trying to learn 720 bar right now. 
<coughs> I'm getting pretty close. It's just kind of hard, especially with my foot. It's hard to get back to, to going super high with all that. Do you ever get bored of scootering in the same parks and begin to not know what to try? Yeah, um, like, I ride Palm Desert, like, all the time. It's, like, it's my favorite park out of Palm Springs and La Quinta. Um, but it just kind of gets boring. Sometimes I have to go to Palm Springs and just try to find new things. But it is really hard to, like, learn new things. It's, like, sometimes you just kind of sit there, like, oh, what to try. Because you just do the same things over and over again. You just have to keep learning new things, like, with the things that you've, like, already learned. Like, if you do a Feeble 360, learn a Feeble 360 bar spin. Then Feeble 360 oppo bar spin. Like, kind of stuff like that. And, yeah, I wish I could... I do travel a lot to skate parks and stuff. But I wish I could travel, like, all the time to different skate parks. Because that'd be super cool. It says, how long do you think you will ride scooters? Honestly, like, I try, I would want to try to ride it, like, as long as I possibly can. Until, like, I can't anymore. But, um, unless, like, I change my mind and just, like, kind of stop liking it. Then I'm just going to stop. Like, I don't know. I don't have any plans of stopping. What is your favorite brand? Probably Tilt. Best trick combo? I want to say 360 bar spin to heal up. Um, or 360 bar spin, uh, 360 bar bar. Those are kind of two cool ones. I don't, I'm kind of bad at combos. Just kind of, I don't know. He says, if you got 1 million subscribers, do you think you would be the same, like the same as, as I am now or be kind of like Tanner Fox, like kind of stopping scootering and stuff? Um, honestly, no, I really just want to stay like... I don't want to say a scootering channel because, like, I want to, like, branch out into new things like paintballing, dirt bikes, like, just a bunch of fun stuff like that. And I want this, like, to always be a scooter channel. Like, I always want to post scootering and do scootering, like, forever on this channel. But obviously, I'm going to want to branch out to, like, new things and, like, try new things. And, but I will always be doing scootering, um, in YouTube. What inspired you to start riding? Honestly, I'd probably say my cousin. It kind of sounds kind of dumb, um, he didn't really, like, inspire me, but, like, he got a scooter for Christmas, and then was like, oh, I want a scooter for Christmas, and then I got a scooter. No, he got a, he got a, I think it was, he got a scooter for his birthday, and then I wanted a scooter, then I got one for Christmas, and then he kind of learned bunny hops and, like, kind of stuff like that on his little Razor scooter, then... Then he was, like, kind of got better than me. Obviously, like, not, like, tricks or anything, but, like, bunny hops. Kind of, like, stupid kind of stuff like that. And then finally, like, I learned, I learned bunny hops. And then we kind of started learning tricks. Like, actual tricks, like, tail ups and stuff. Then he kind of stopped riding, which kind of sucks. But he kind of stopped riding. And then I just kind of surpassed him just because I kept riding. And I don't know. How long did it take you to start being able to do a tail up? I learned it the first night I actually tried it, I think. Um, like, I got to the skate park, I just kind of rode around, got in everybody's way, and then I was like, oh, I'm try to so I probably tried it for, like, probably three hours. My mom filmed, like, all the clips. I will try to put the, uh, clip in. If I can't get the clip, I'm sorry. How old is your dog? He's five months. What is your best Rick? This one right here. When you turn 18, where do you want to live? Um... Like, obviously, like, every kid, like, I want to live in San Diego, around Claremont and Linda Vista area, but it is so expensive out there, it's going to be, like, impossible. But I want to live, like, in Temecula, like, around, like, kind of Raymond Warner's area. It's super nice. It's, like, a very nice area. There's tons of skate parks. Um, it's a lot cheaper than San Diego and L.A. Um, Temecula, uh, Riverside kind of area. Um... And then it's super close to, like, where I am now if I want to come visit here a lot. It's close to San Diego, L.A., and it's not too far away from Vegas because that's where all my family lives, and it won't be too far just to drive there. What's your dream sponsor, and if you wanted it, what part would you have and what color? And, like, so I'm guessing if I got a signature part, what part would it be and what color? But it would be insanely hard to get, like, a tilt um, signature part. Um... But I'd probably want uh, a deck. I'd probably want a deck. I would probably want it like 5.5 5, 5 by 23. And maroon this color. Like it's super nice. And like a cool like design on the bottom. Um, so yeah, probably that. Would you rather have a girlfriend or a Velociraptor? 
Most definitely a velo Velociraptor. <laughs> Would you play Coda in a game of Scoot if he got mentally retarded? I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, if he's mentally retarded, I'd probably win then. Um, favorite part about Palm Desert Skate Park? Um, I really like the hip. Like, uh, like the hip. I'll put in like a clip of something right now. Or, I'll put in a picture because it's cool. And, uh, probably that. I love just Aaron going super high and trying a bunch of new tricks on that. Favorite vault employee? Um, probably Austin because I see him like a lot. He goes to like one of my local parks all the time because he used to be his old local. Um, so he comes down here all the time and, uh, we just kind of became friends and stuff. So probably Austin. Um, and Brian. Brian is super cool too. We're good friends. He he made, he helped me film the first of uh, Vulper Scooters custom build. It would probably go Austin and Brian. Have you ridden Attic Grips? And if so, can you explain your opinion? Opinion. Opinion. Um, <clears throat> yes, I have ridden Attic Grips. They're probably my favorite grips. They're so comfy, super soft. They're like Ethic Grips, but they're so much softer. Um, they're it's like, they're like ethic grips, but they're worn in, so they're amazing. And they're probably my favorite grips. Are you going to Woodward week 10 again? Um, I really want to go to Woodward again, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be going week 10. How long did it take you to learn double whip, and when, and how did you get into scootering? Um, like I said, my cousin kind of got me into scootering. And so I kind of answered that, and then it says, how long did it take you to learn double whip? Um, double whip probably took me the longest. It probably took me like... A week, probably like of consistently trying, like every time I go to the skate park, not consistently trying, but like trying like a couple times every time I go, then I finally landed it. That's weird, my cat. That's weird, my camera stopped filming. So it's the last two questions, I'm gonna refresh and see if there's any more. Um, wanna play Minecraft? No. Uh, would you rather ride a BMX or ride a skateboard? I'd probably ride BMX because it's closest to scootering and it's super fun, and I already have one. I have a skateboard too. But, um, probably BMX. We had a lot of questions. Um, it's pro this is probably over like 30 minutes. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm just gonna go back to the normal video, normal uh, weekly videos. Um, it was fun doing them for this whole week, but it was really hard because it's just like you couldn't do anything else other than edit. I don't get how people like Raymond Water like they, they just edit all the time, every night. Um, I probably won't be doing uh, this for a long time because I'm in school and all that. But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.